So I actually start off by putting edge control on her hair before I part it and I saw this on a lot of the hair braiding videos that I watch. So I figured they must do it for a reason and it actually did help a lot with parting her hair and keeping it together because I've braided her hair before and her hair texture I guess is so silky that it really does not want to like clump together or stick together the way that textured hair does. So that really really helped clump the hair together. After putting the edge control, I started to twist the hair and again in attempts to keep her hair together as like one piece. When I got down to the bottom of the braid, I kind of tried to like twist the hair a little bit in attempts to tuck her hair within the braiding hair because the straight ends really likes to stick out a lot. And when at the end, when you're like kind of grooming and cleaning it up, you don't want to be clipping their ends off. You know how some people clip the straight hairs off of the braids? You're actually clipping that person's ends. So I didn't want to do that. So I just tried to tuck her ends as best as I could but I am not a professional so I didn't do a very good job at tucking as you could as you saw so here I'm just trying to show you how I prep the hair and attach it so I take one side of the braiding hair and split it in two and twist it around so that it becomes my three sections and I take one of those split pieces and I actually use that to attach it to her hair it did take me multiple tries uh, trying to attach the braiding hair to her hair without it slipping I tried different techniques uh, toward the bottom like when I first started and a lot of them didn't work. I even tried to use rubber bands, which everything kind of just slipped down and made the braids super loose. So you want to keep trying until you figure out what works for you.
Now I'm just doing the end stuff, which is dipping it in hot water to seal the ends. And I did notice when I was editing, like especially this part, there are a lot of ends that I should have rebraided because they had already begun to unravel. So yeah, that at the time, I don't know why, but I couldn't, I didn't really see it. Maybe I was tired because this took like a super long time, longer than either one of us actually expected. But I really should have gone in and rebraided those ends because they did start to unravel even more as like the week went on. So these are the results. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.